Hello and welcome back. This time we will go inside Asher's tower. And right off the bat we get a pretty big group of enemies, six beetles. Perfect battle to use the SMG or a mutant's abilities. And two HP gains. Nothing on this floor. Or this floor. Seven baby rooms. First turn. This is the fourth floor now. I think every member in the skeleton family is weak against fire. Yes. Except maybe the last, the highest tier in the family because it gets weird at that point. And we receive a saber. No, I think I'll give that to my robot. Nineteen agility, not bad. See, so you want to give really expensive stuff to your robot because he can use it as many times as you want, as long as you restore it, and it'll give him a huge stat boost. Here's just another mini boss. It's weak against fire, it's just going to be a normal enemy in the next world. And we rescue, this must be that guy they've been talking about. I just love this music. Not the battle music. And he has nothing, probably because he was searched and got his stuff confiscated. Snakes are weak against ice. Now he has two fires. If you have two of the same ability, you should probably use the one on the bottom because... Ow, my right foot just fell asleep. Because that's gonna be the one that's rep- Ow! The one that gets replaced. 
sorry about this. Now Mask gets his equipment. Which is a hammer and a bunch of bronze armor. You may think, well, it's just a hammer, big deal, but he is strong. 212 damage with a hammer. That's as much as my, my female human, which specializes who specializes in agility, can do with an agility-based weapon. And we are on the seventh floor now. We receive a cult. at the top. There are ten floors in this tower. Almost got all of them in one turn. Mask is probably gonna take him out. Yep. The NPCs, for the most part in this game, are really strong at everything. And we get a silver shield. And now we've reached the top. Flowers are weak against ice as well. And this is a magic potion, like the speed potion it we got earlier, it's a permanent stat boost, as well as the power potion, which is another permanent stat boost. Since he's the, really the only one who uses strength, I'll get it to him. And of course, this is an obvious choice. More treasure. A battle sword. And a silver helmet. I don't think anyone needs it. But I think I'll equip him with the battle sword. And that's all the time I have for this episode. Next time, we will face Ashura. This is Tata signing off.